Marketing in the New World Many of my older colleagues are feeling a bit out of sorts with Facebook, RSS feeds, and the plethora of online media which have disturbed the sanctity of our desktops. Many feel compelled to join the party, regardless of their place within the world order. I wonder if all of this panic is really necessary. For some, running Facebook ads seems trendy, but for others it is like selling Yankee pinstripes at Fenway Park. My point is that if you have an old world product, it is hard to convert to online marketing techniques overnight. Peter Drucker said all management is marketing, but I wonder if he is turning in his grave at the prospect of Twitter and its lack of a sustainable revenue model. He couldn't have expected marketing to change so dramatically, practically overnight. Print advertising is dying a rapid death. Yet some products and service have an experiential component that make internet marketing difficult. Companies are spending a lot of money on AdWords and other SEO, search engine optimization, tools, sometimes void of any real strategy or measurement other than click-through, which is a ridiculous measurement if I ever heard of one. Companies are well advised to consider their internet strategy within a broader effort that blends different approaches into an integrated marketing plan. Marketers must take the time to acquire the skills, resources, and technology to compete effectively in the online space. Point one advantage that online marketing offers us is the ability to measure specific outcomes of web traffic, and we should all be a bit more vigilant in measuring the effectiveness of our marketing so that we can better allocate resources to the approaches that work best. See you all on Facebook.